Hello everybody. Have you been struggling with spreadsheets? Worry no more. Today we're going to explore an AI powered spreadsheet called Brix. Brix is free to use program. All you just need is a registered account to access it. So let's take a look how to use it. Once you log in, you will be taken to your workspace where you can choose what you would like to do. The workspace can be shared with other users so it's really useful for cross-team working. For this example, I'm going to open my test file. It opens up a spreadsheet that looks like a regular spreadsheet and has the same options as any Google or Excel sheet. To show how to utilize this AI, I have found out some information about 25 best restaurants in the United States and copied it uh, as a raw text to the file. Altogether, there's around 130 lines of text and uh, let's see how we can utilize the AI to create the table out of all the information that we have gathered. To do it, we need to give the AI a prompt. So I have prompted the AI to create a new table called restaurants, add columns, restaurant, city, menu type, cost, and Michelin stars. Count how many restaurants are from, from different states. Once the task has been completed, you have the option to accept the work or reject it and try again. After accepting it, uh, I looked at the table and felt I uh, want to know more. This time I'm testing AI's ability to collect information outside of the spreadsheet. I've asked the AI to create new columns called rating and feedback uh, based on the information in Google search. In this example we can see the logic of the AI and it mentions that trying different approach as adding two new columns would make the first table to overlap the second table, it had to find a way to move the second table. Now, as we can see, the AI has created two new columns and we can see the rating and the feedback as well. To stretch the table, go to the first column between number 1 and A and from there we can just stretch the table and the columns. This can be adjusted whenever you want to. So let's take a quick look at the text and see if there's anything else we can add. To further test this uh, AI's capabilities, I wanted to add new columns called description and founding gear. Also ask the AI to create different charts based on the information available. Creating manually those tables and charts would probably take me like 30 minutes. For the AI to create those, it would usually take like 30 seconds to one minute. These are only example charts, but if you want to create real charts, then try to be as precise as possible. As I mentioned earlier, the column size can be adjusted at any time during your work. So let's go ahead and explore what other options does this AI give us. There's an option to ask the AI to suggest prompts. There are options to have the AI create uh, things on their own, or it also gives suggestions based on the info on the spreadsheet. Let's choose option to develop a dashboard to track pending projects and their financial impact. While the prompt sounds off, the AI will take information on your dashboard and generate uh, all the information based on this. Once we click on it, it will start creating a new dashboard, uh, writes down what he is expected to do, and starts working on it. As a lot of data is being uh, analyzed, it might take a little bit longer, so it can take up to one minute. Uh, once the dashboard has been completed, it gives a great overview of the information we have presented uh, in our grid. It is a good option to create uh, presentations or summaries with low effort. The whole document can be shared uh, via email or can be downloaded as an XLS file. Now let's wrap it up and let's talk about the pros and cons of uh, Bricks AI. The biggest pro I would say is that it's really easy to use and you don't have to figure out complicated formulas anymore. Also, it's really easy to integrate and gives good suggestions from the AI side. The biggest con I would say is the accuracy limitations. It means if you don't have a good prompt, you might not get the expected outcome. Also, I wouldn't add too much sensitive information because
tools uh, we're working with AI. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.